Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today we'll be taking a look at how to create this grill type effect. This is not modeling, we'll actually be using a shader, which is a pretty simple and useful trick. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I put out videos like this every week. And I also include a free resource file that you can download and check out for yourself. So let's get into the video. So as always, I'll be working in Blender 2.91. Uh, all of these shortcuts will be showing in the bottom left screen. I want to create first an object that we can apply our grill to. So I'll be just using a simple cylinder. Very simple process. Let me just select everything in the scene by pressing A twice, X delete, add a cylinder like that. Let's scale it up. Let's make it bigger like that. In edit mode, if I press tab, let me just go to face select in the top left corner. I'm going to select the top face. Shift, select the bottom face, X, delete the faces. So I get this cylinder right here. Exit edit mode, control A, reset the scale. So we're all good there. And I can also press W to shade smooth. So it's just a bit better. Okay, now we won't be modeling anything. We'll be just applying a shader. So I want to make just a very basic HDRI setup. The way I do that, I first go into my render properties. I'm going to switch to cycles and to GPU compute. Another very useful thing is under film transparent. So if I check that, the HDRI is just going to show the light influence, but it's not going to show the whole HDRI, which I find very useful for these types of things. Under my world properties, I'll click under color and choose the environment texture. If I press open, it's going to open my map. And then I suggest you select your HDRI file and use that as your lighting source. You can find plenty of those on HDRI Haven. In my case, I'm using a Photo Studio 01 from HDRI Haven. Very useful. So if I go into rendered view like that, you can see, yeah. So it's transparent and white. Now let's prepare the shader. So I'm going to divide my screen like that. I'm going to drop this portion down and I'm going to choose this editor type to be UV editor. And the bottom one is going to be the shader editor. Let me press N to hide that. And under my material properties, I'm going to add a new material. And this is going to be my grill. In my viewport, let me just go under viewport shading like that so we can see what we're doing. And we'll start to add a couple of nodes. So the first one is going to be a texture node. The second one is going to be a mapping node. The third one is going to be a Voroni texture. And the fourth one is going to be a color ramp. Let me put them like that. So let me connect the UV to the vector of mapping, mapping vector to the vector of the Voroni texture and the distance of the Voroni texture to the color ramp. Now I want to connect the color of the color ramp to the base color. And you can see sort of what's happening. So we have this very strange type of texture. But if I decrease the randomness, you can see that they've all started to behave very properly. They are in a specific order. And if I increase the scale, you can see that these are actually small circles like that. Usually the grills on the speakers are really, really, really minimal. So let me go with something of a scale of about 200. But we have this strange square thing. So this is why we have our color ramp. So if I start to increase this color ramp like that and decrease the white, I'm starting to define the shape of the actual circles. So if I want them smaller, I can also go like that, move the black slider to the left and then move the white slider to the left. So if I want to increase the scale and have more of these, I can just go like that. It's going to be 340 scale. So I have a very fine grill. Okay, I, maybe I can draw the size of the actual circles back a bit. Maybe I can do it like that. Again, this, what we're doing is actually controlling the edge of our circle like that. So it's getting nice and sharp. Once we have a, let's say, good enough reproduction, I just connect the color of the color ramp to the alpha. And now what's going to happen if I go under my rendered view. So in my rendered view, you can see it's actually showing everything that's black to be transparent and everything that's white is going to be 
white. So let me add, let's say, a cube inside. Let me do it like that. Control 3, W, Shade Smooth. And let me add just a material and color it, let's say, violet like that. You can see that we're actually looking through the grill. And again, let me rescale down the size. You can see that it also functions when you go down in size like that. And it's a very simple trick to apply. The best part of this, you can also control the material of your grill. So let's say we wanted metallic. So I'm just increasing the metallic, decreasing the roughness, and bam, I have a metallic grill. And the best part of this is you can actually combine various textures. You can try the color output of the Verona texture, which is going to create these cuboid type of things. You can try the position of the Voronai, which is actually creating, again, a completely different type of texture. So there's plenty of ways to play with this, but this one is definitely the coolest. So if you need something that has circles and you need a grill type of thing, this is the way to go for a really quick result. So yeah, this is going to be it for this tutorial. It's a really simple, very useful, very flexible trick for everything from USB speaker grills to actual machine gun ends. So I would really like to see you guys apply this technique and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So if you make these creations, please tag me on Instagram at Blatadei so I can see them and share them, of course. If you've liked the video, drop a like. It lets me know that you really like the video. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those. And if you have any questions, I try to answer them and get to them as quickly as possible. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.